Hello and what's up everybody? This is Speed from Speed Academy and in this video uh, we are working with the multiple columns in CSS. Guys, uh, this is the new property in, uh, added in CSS3. Uh, this will help you to create a multiple column as per your wish but it has some limitations means if you are creating multiple columns then the columns should have same height and width. It is the necessary condition for using the for creating the multiple column by using the column count method. So how to do that? I will be teaching you in this video. For that, let's, you have to watch the video to end. So for that, I'm just creating different div tags. It means you can create a number of div tags and make sure that the div tags have the same height and width. For making different columns in a same means uh, your div tag have, should have the same height and width in single row. Then only you can work with the your multiple columns. But if your any of the div tag has some change in height, then the column will get distorted out. You can say means your column should is not be look like the column your two divs get mixed with either each other. And all so for that, um, just creating some division over here. So I'm creating call class, and I'm gonna copy this four five times to make it easily visible to you how it all works. So for this tutorial, I'm creating five columns over here, and in this we will be adding some content for a better understanding how you how your column is to be made and all oh sorry okay so let me just show you the output then we will start working with the styling part in css you can see oh i have oh sorry okay now it would be fine i guess okay so you can see I have created some different diffs, but it is not invisible to you all. So for that, what I can do, I can just I'm not doing any basic stuff. I'm doing it with the help of body. For this, I'm just creating some column because I have created a class named call. I'm creating the background of your gray and color of white. Text align to be center, mm, and I think this would be fine. Okay, but you can't see the change. Means you you can see that all the columns are same in line. For that, what you can do is you uh, for creating multiple columns. As you can see now, my columns have the same height and width in a single row. So and these different columns I mean this different div tags are sent in my body over here you can separately create a container and you can do with that also i'm just creating in in my body on body itself so for that you have to write for creating column column count okay and what column count means the how many number of columns you want to be at on your web page so for this, as I have created five columns, so I am writing here five. And now you can see I have five different columns in my web page. But what if I just change it to lesser number? Then you can see the change, how it will be acting like. And you can see it will be taking a, a equal amount of space from the both sides and get it my two columns over here. But you can see that uh, we have four, uh, five different columns uh, over here. Means I have created five different uh, div tags, but it seems to be that we have only two div tags over here because the column get merged over here. So it will be only working if you have the same height and same uh, same width. You can say that that. Now you can see the change. We have same height and same width, so our content is not overflowing each of the div tag and next we have column gap 
the gap you will see in between this the two columns you can increase this by over here i'm giving it for example 100 pixels now you can see the change how your column will be going to change now you can see the gap in between those similarly you can add a column width means a column rule style i mean this is the rule style means you have seen the board means every column is separated by a rule okay for rule you can better understand you have um purchased many, many of you have purchased working with your diaries and your notebooks and all so you have seen a rule over there means a line by which the your uh, paper means your page is divided into two sections first of the first section is your where your date is just to be written and the serial number you can write over there but in the next session you have to write the content whatever you are just working with so similarly we have the rule over here so for that you can just add an any any type of uh, any type of rule style over here i am just adding group by default this color is black okay you can see over here i have added a group you can change it to dotted or whatever you want okay now it, it would be dotted uh you can also add a column width rule width means you can just add it like this so i'm just adding it five pixels so now you can see the change so and you can also change its color also so for that what you can write like a uh, column rule color and you can give any of the color you want to be i have given okay yellow is not that visible uh, purple might be okay you can see the change Similarly, we have uh, another property named your column width. From here, you can just change the column width. Uh, but by uh, make sure that if you are changing the column width, then many times it just uh, changes your output. You can see in my change where well, you can see because now my each of the column was try to take the width of 350 pixels because i have uh, given each column a width of 350 pixels that's why my column was distracted over there so i don't recommend you to work with these multiple columns uh -huh. sometimes it is useful for you to work with multiple columns and whenever you are working with means if you have created a row with, uh, which have the same content means the same height and width then you can work with the call uh, count over there because it will be very very useful for that the, in that case you don't have to create a base system or the flex box for uh, making making multiple columns over there so in that case this column count is very very useful but i don't recommend it to you for creating your means or layouting your website uh, we usually use it because it is a uh, responsive also you can see um, even if i just shrink it down uh why with the help of your um uh, this uh, media queries that i will be telling you later on so with the help of that you can see it will equally equally distribute the height and width to each of the columns as you have just set it out so that's all in this video guys now i hope you understand how this multiple column works and all but i usually recommend you to uh, i don't recommend you to create use this column for creating your layouts for creating layouts use uh, grid containers for the main container means a uh, huge container and inside of the grid system you can use uh, the flex box for smaller items because flex box makes the gives the flexibility but i don't recommend you to work with multiple columns that is it's not that effective in the creation of the layouts and all